In this video I'll be showing you how to play Minecraft with ray tracing. So before we even get started you do need to have a graphics card that supports ray tracing. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card as long as it's an RTX 20 series or higher then you're okay and if you have an AMD graphics card then as long as it's an RX 6000 series or higher then you're okay as well. So now that you know that your graphics card supports ray tracing in Minecraft we can move on. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that the game is up to date. And to check this all you need to do is open up the start menu, type in store, open up the Microsoft store. We then need to select library in the bottom left hand corner and you then need to just click get updates. And if there are any new updates available for Minecraft then it will update. Once you have updated Minecraft you now need to ensure that you do have the latest driver installed for your graphics card as well. Now that you've updated your graphics card and we've also updated the game if there was an update available we can go ahead and launch Minecraft. Once Minecraft's open you now need to select marketplace. You will now see a list of different worlds that support ray tracing. You can go ahead and select any one of these worlds that you would like to play just ensure it does say buy Nvidia and also says G4 RTX and has this little diamond star icon in the bottom left hand corner. So I'm going to open up this showcase world here. Once it's loaded click on free and you now need to click on download. And then download again and it will now begin to download the ray tracing world. Once it's finished downloading you now need to select create this world. And you then need to go ahead and click on create. And there we go as you can see I'm now in a ray tracing enabled world in Minecraft. And I must say it looks absolutely fantastic. So you can actually change a few settings when it comes to the ray tracing and I will show you this now. First you need to press escape on your keyboard and then go to settings. Now you need to scroll all the way down until you find the video option and you need to open this. You then need to scroll down again until we come across ray tracing. We now need to ensure that the ray tracing is toggled to on which it should be by default when you go into a ray tracing enabled world. We can also change the ray trace and render distance within here. So depending on how good your graphics card is will depend on how much you can increase this setting. So once you finish changing that you can then return back into the world and then play with ray tracing enabled in Minecraft. So if you would be interested in seeing me do a benchmark video on Minecraft ray tracing with the AMD RX 6500 graphics card that I have then pop a comment below. If you enjoyed the video then click the like button below and if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe then I will see you in the next video.